Hello, my name is Irina Hritonova. I am a doctor and a clinical geneticist. Now I am conducting a scientific research in Alzheimer's disease and searching for mutations. So let's talk about future of medicine and about genetics. So what is genetics? In the late 19th century, Gregory Mantel first discovered genetics. DNA is an abbreviation of the chemical substance called dioxyribonucleic acid. This is a molecule spiral which contains four types of the nucleotides adenine, guanine, timine and cytosine. They are like ingredients which make up our DNA. Nucleotides are built by phosphate, sugar and base. These related nucleotides form two chains, two helix, which develops a molecule. These related nucleotides translate information encoded within genetic material into proteins, RNA. So, if we want to write DNA on paper, this will be a really long piece of text. The human genetic code contains more than 3 billion letters. Imagine, one gene consists of 100,000 letters. All 3 billion letters form a unique code, which determines and is responsible for individual human characteristics. In this code include our health, heredity, our preferences, our character and physiology. How did people discover information about genes and about human genome? In 1984, the US government decided to fund an idea on how to identify human genome. And this was one of the most amazing decisions in the world at the time and for the future. The whole human genome information was collected by April 2003. Funding came from the US government through the National Institute of Health. This human genome project was 15 years long and the project roughly cost $5 billion. Thanks to those countries, which many universities and research centers in the US, United Kingdom, Japan, France, Germany and China helped to sequence human DNA. The first available raw data assembly of the genome was completed by the Genome Bioinformatics Group at the University of California, Santa Cruz primarily led by Jim Kent. The study revealed and concluded the whole sequence consists of only about 23,000 working protein-coding genes uh, in human being. All the information about genes you can find on NCBI, this site contains a lot of data about our genes. It took 15 years to complete the whole human genome because close to 10 years ago we could only use Sanger sequencer. This is a first method sec in 1975, which sequenced only shortcuts of the DNA. That's why so many countries helped with this project. But future is near, and today we have such amazing sequence machines and very advanced sequence machines like NGS Next Generation Sequence. The sequence machine companies like Illumina, Kiagin, Thermo Fisher, PacBio can sequence DNA as quickly as two hours for the surface analysis, up to two working days for more detailed analysis. But this advantage is that the cost of the genome run sequence is about $30,000 uh, because of the high cost uh, materials. The main problem for now is low speed of capacity, but with the down of the quantum computer, the progress will come really fast and sequence will be more cheaper and faster. More incredible technology is a minion real time. It is a third generation sequence machine 
Minion weights are under 100 gram and plugs into your PC or laptop using a high-speed USB cable. The benefits are low-cost materials, high-speed library preparation and nice price. It has a huge storage capacity and can generate from 10 to 30 gigabytes of DNA sequence data. The company is Oxford Nanopore Technologies. Imagine, in 10 years from now, doctors will be able to analyze your data in front of you in 5 minutes and analyze your bad genes. Or you can send your saliva to your doctor via your mobile phone and doctor can make diagnostics. People will know about their diseases, how to stop progressing the disease uh, and how to cure the disease. But more about this I will tell you in my future videos. Do you feel the future? Me too. Thank you for watching. Bye.